I'll envision the energy coming up from the earth and into my stomach and I'll be right in the balance of it. My body, my mind, my spirit, all of me is the middle point where it all meets. And kind of just seeing that and reminding yourself like, I'm really in this bitch, I'm really out here. I am a special nexus and I'm present. Um, and yeah, using the breath to do all of these things uh, helps a lot. A really beautiful book, uh, that I enjoy based on Tantra is Urban Tantra by Barbara Corellis. Um, and it's it's really helpful. I would say another really great way of getting in touch with that aspect of yourself is pole dancing, yoga, obviously, as well. Um, I think the best way to practice yoga in terms of this is to do so at home. Um, sometimes when we go out to do yoga, there's a lot of pressure to kind of meld in with where everybody else is. We can tend to feel a little subconscious. It's really important to kind of remember your flow is literally your flow. Your flow is what moves you, where the breath inspires you. Um, my favorite place to do pole dancing is sweet water dancing yoga in the Bronx. Gang, gang, gang. Here. Um... But yeah, so to come together, the month of October is going to be a month where <laughs> where it feels like a year, but really of shedding, of shedding ideas of what community can be for us. I know this, these past two months have been a real big shedding for me in terms of community, um, in terms of remembering, excuse me, there are a lot of beautiful people around me that are really more than open to healing, that are more than open to expressing love in ways that are very pure and very heartfelt and if you come from places where community hasn't always been warm or community hasn't always meant um the openness that we'd want it can be a little bit scary to like jump in and be like okay I can put more of my foot in I can put my whole leg in I can sit down here I can feel safe this is my sister this is sisterhood um and kind of remembering that the more that we shed within ourselves and the more that we're aware of our own boundaries and feeling safe in expressing these boundaries with other people so we can create more spaces of brightness rather than walls um, is really empowering and really knowing what community means to you having an idea of who you do and don't want to spend time with and letting that be okay and letting it not have to be a big thing um, is really important but really being aware of how our own individual progress affects community, how the things that we do individually and the things that we say individually affects community, and how that might affect the collective picture of it is really important. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Feel free to leave um, a comment. Feel free to leave a question. Uh, feel free to leave anything that you'd like me to do a video on in the future. If you don't already know, my Instagram is flowglow. And y'all have a beautiful October. Stay spooky, bitches.